Greetings, survivors. Um, so now Raven Hearth is only going to keep the latest version on the mod launcher, so you might want to save an old game of yours. Um, I'm going to give you a little trick on how to do that. If you have save all games to local mods, check on, which I kind of recommend. Um, you cannot just simply create a shortcut. Now, creating a shortcut is simple. So you click on the three dots button here. Uh, that brings you to this, uh, open the folder. So you uh, left click and drag seven days to die. Uh, press Alt that says create link um, in the desktop or wherever you want. Uh, you have to press Alt, otherwise it says copy. So you want to create link and then drop it and then press um, F2 or click again to rename it and say something like darkness falls, which is um, what's um, in here. Um, so the next step is having properties to start this game correctly. If I use the shortcut here to start Darkness Falls, it's going to start Darkness Falls in the right place, but it's not going to use the same save games that uh, the mod launcher was using because I had this save all games to local mod checked on. And that passes a parameter with a config file um, that changes where the save games go which is the whole point of save all games local mod. Uh, it shows the parameter here, but this is incomplete. It's not showing the actual full path. So instead you come here on view and then log files. And then you click here and select the second one, which is going to show uh, darkness falls and output log. Okay. Now, on this log here, and you have to have started the game, of course, uh, at some point to have some log. Uh, but on this log here, you can just scroll down. And at some point, uh, it's going to show, and I'm not seeing that. Um, here. Uh, command line arguments. So you want to find this line here. So it's showing the actual full path to the command line and then all parameters. Now pop-up window is something I place here. You see here, pop-up window. Uh, it's called uh, the uh, borderless uh, windowed mode. So it looks like full screen, but it's windowed. And that's for, if you have multiple monitors, it's convenient, but that's a size the point. Um, then there's actually other parameters that are not even here. Uh, so there's one here for log file, and this is where it's gonna write the log file. Uh, and then there is this config file. So you can grab all these parameters. Um, you can copy that. And Control insert, control C, I'm not sure. Um, let me now go here. So here you have seven days to die. And in fact, you could even copy all the all, everything here and just replace everything here. But I'm just going to copy the parameters and then shift insert or control V, control C to copy, control V to paste. And then the parameters are here. So um, here's darkness falls, um, dash pop-up window, and then log file, seven days to die, data, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then config file and the full path here to the darkness falls config file, save config. And if you open this file, you see that it, it uh, defines the um, save game uh, directory. Okay, so you apply that. Okay, 
And now when I start this, I'm going to have my save games uh, display correctly um, in the, it, it will give me my save games that were saved when I started through the mod launcher. Now, uh, that said, um, you have another option, which is what I've been using, which is, let's go to the start and splash screen there. So I'm not using save all games to local mod, but I am saving all games to local mod. What I am using here is I use this parameter here, dash user data folder equals, and then I put up the path to where I want my stuff. And in fact, I have this on the, um, I have this folder here. And what, the, okay. Let's open the link I have here. So this is my shortcut. And this is the directory saves Ravenhurst, Ravenhurst 552 final A17 for edition with underscores. Um, the mod launcher actually creates a directory with spaces instead, but underscores I think are better. So it's here and then 552 final A17 for edition. I could use any name, could create any directory if I felt like. And with that parameter and not using any other parameter, uh, it is going to put user options here and saves here. So my save games are here and generated bolts here. Um, that's, I think that's better because otherwise, if you create a, a world in Ravenhurst or Darkness Falls or whatever, it's going to go into uh, the default seven days to die directory, which is um, app data seven days to die. And then it goes here. So all of these worlds are available from any of the mods. Um, but they are all vanilla. And if you use the same seed as one of these worlds, it's gonna reuse the world. It's not gonna create a new one. So you get vanilla prefabs, um, vanilla uh, biomes, etc. So by using that user data thing, uh, I get the worlds to be saved on this directory together with the saves. And that also allows you, uh, protects you from deleting the world by mistake uh, to try it on, on another mod or something else, because this directory will have the world that you want to play in and the save. Um, you need both files, you need both directories to keep playing that. So with that, I get both of them and I can save back up both of them uh, and, and I'm safe. So uh, I hope this, this thing happened, uh, uh, helped you. Um, I, hope it, I hope this has been useful. Uh, thank you for watching.